Andrew Flintoff, Francis. Yeah, it could be the end of his time as an England player, certainly in Test cricket. We shall see because within the next hour or so, there's due to be a press conference at Lords concerning the Test future of Andrew Flintoff. There have been indications he may well be standing down from Test cricket at the end of the current Ashes series. His troublesome knee flared up in the first Test in Cardiff. It remains to be seen if he'll play in the second. We should find out today. Well, our cricket correspondent Jonathan Agnew is at Lords. And Jonathan, how likely is it that Flintoff is going to stand down from Test cricket? Uh, good morning. Well, I'm expecting confirmation of that in about. About 12 minutes uh, at 11 o'clock where uh, there's been an announcement from the ECB and uh, I understand that it is going to be that Andrew Flintoff will, will call a halt to his test career at the end of this series. So he's going to try his best obviously to get through this but he's an injury prone quick bowler as, as, as we know. There's a very lucrative uh, one day circuit out there in, in the cricket world, the IPL and so on. He, I think he's still going to say that he wants to play one day cricket for England but it's a recognition of the fact that test cricket in particular is simply too much like hard work for him now. His body can't take it. We're still waiting, of course, to see if he can play in this test match starting tomorrow because he has a, a knee problem. So uh, that's what we're expecting at 11 o'clock. What, what sort of pounding does someone like Flintoff take in test cricket, Jonathan? Because it seems every few weeks we have to talk about another injury, be it a knee or an ankle. That's right, and that, that's, that's why I think he's going to call it a day. I think he's, he's aware of the speculation. We've all been speculating about this now for, for months, about him probably being the first person, if you'd like, to retire and go off and, 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 and go and do this. But no, his, his body takes a, 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 a huge stress. I mean, he's a big man, a big, strong man. Uh, he, he delivers the ball at 90-odd miles an hour. He comes pounding in. He's hammering that left foot into the ground, twisting on his knees. I mean, fast bowling is seriously hard work, and he is a very physical fast bowler. Some you know, make it more easy than others, if you like. So, I mean, his record shows that he has struggled to maintain his fitness uh, throughout and yet you know, if you look at his that the bare bones right, the, the cold facts of his career you look at it and say in some ways it's been quite disappointing 75 tests he's played his, his bowling average is 32 which is which is high he's only taken two five wicket hauls uh, his batting average 31 quite low 500s and you know there's much more to Andrew Flintoff of course than that than statistics as usual they tell only half the story the, the charisma uh, the character uh, the, the way that people fed off his enthusiasm his brilliant slip catching and all these are things that obviously add to that Flintoff picture but maybe in 10 years time people who, who haven't been lucky enough to see Flintoff play at Test Cricket might say was he really that good? We're looking at pictures of uh, the celebrations after the last Ashes win, Jonathan. More importantly, and I guess more immediately, uh, the Aussies are going to be quite happy to hear this decision because they still fear this man. Well, yes, but I think he's still going to play in this series if he's fit. I mean, I, I think this is only f from the end of this series, and actually it might act as some big motivating force. I mean, the, the timing of it does surprise me a bit. Uh, and perhaps it is simply to galvanise everybody around him and give him a big hurrah. You know, I, I, I can't think of any other reason, really, apart from trying to end the speculation as to why he's announcing this today. So, Ashes the Aussies are going to think, hang on a minute, this fellow's giving it one last big go. Um, you know, we better watch out. All right, Jonathan Agnew, Lords, thank you very much indeed.